So this is the area I'm gonna dig for a soil test. As of now, this is the place we're gonna dig for our compressed earth block. We are trying to build a house with the, uh, our own native soil here. And it said about 20% of clay content makes a perfect block. So uh, we are not quite sure what kind of content we have. And we are supposed to dig about at least two feet down so to remove all the organic matter. I'm gonna try to dig it down a little bit more to see a more accurate reading. A lot of rock on our property. I think it's two feet down already. It was already pre-dug. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some half of the jar will be filled with dirt, water, they said. I think this would be good enough. I have halfway filled jar of our dirt and water and a little bit of soap. So what I'm gonna do is put water like so. Like so, I guess. And said like that, hopefully. And close. And shake it for one minute or so. And let it sit and figure it out what kind of content we have. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Wish us luck to have a perfect amount of every single um, ingredient we need, which is um, clay, sand, and what is it? I don't know, whatever. But hopefully we have a good amount. Here it is. Our clay content is like 5% most likely. It's so unfortunate. We might dig some different area to see if it's any, um, if they give us any other um, result for that. But seems like this is what we got. We do need to have about 20% to make it perfect block. So we might have to import it from somewhere. Our friend said their land have a lot of clay. So we might have to go and grab it from him or we just have to deal with, with what we got and put more cement in it. We'll see how it goes. So let's do more soil test. My first one, only 5% or less clay. And I'm trying to find a spot has better soil than that. You may say, why aren't you using skid steer to dig? Well, I should learn how to use it, but I don't. So I have to do it manually because Eric worked during the week. So I'm trying to be productive when he's not around. So let's mark the shovel so I don't have to go and get the measuring tape every single time. Two foot. They say I have to dig at least two foot to get the good soil testing result. Oh shoot, I broke it. So it has to be here. Not quite. Definitely digging this tiring. Luckily, the ground is somewhat softer still from the rain that we had a couple weeks ago. But it's not fun. Oh my bad. I'm gonna get one more rock and I'm gonna call it. So this is from east side, outside of the fence. And this is the west side of our property. This area is very, very rocky. So I kind of doubt that this is not any Place. I think the east side is better than west side. There you go. This is from the west side. Hopefully we get good result. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put the water in it and then test it overnight. So I'm gonna put those two in the undisturbed surface because I had it in a trailer and it has been pretty windy and rocky. So it may not be giving us the right result. I left it out overnight and I think this will be the result. East side, looks like it's a good clay content. I mean, definitely a lot more than rest of our property. I only tested like three locations, but I think this definitely can tell the layer of clay there. I hope it's not silt, but, and it was easier to dig because it's less rocks. So, we might be using this side. What do you guys think? Is this good enough to make earth block with adding 15% of a cement? Tell us your thought. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. What do you guys think? Is this good enough to make earth blocks with adding 15% of cement? Tell us your thought. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.